All right, everybody. What we're gonna concentrate on for these next several videos is how to create a web banner in Edge Animate. So before we even start off, let's make sure that we have our file organization ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the create new text right over here to the left to create a new Edge Animate project. And that's just gonna open up the normal user interface. In case if you need a refresher on the user interface, feel free to look at my introduction to Edge Animate video. For this video though, all we're doing is making sure we save this so no matter what we do in the future, we always have everything together. That way we don't have any broken links or any missing JavaScript or anything of that nature. So all we're gonna do is go up to File, scroll down and click on Save As. And let's give this the appropriate name of Web Banner since that's what we're working on. And before I click save, what I like to do is I like to create a new folder for this project. And the reason being is because when you end up saving an Edge Animate project, it ends up including about six different files altogether. Five of them vary between JavaScript, the actual project file, and an HTML document. And the other one's a folder that includes an additional JavaScript file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And you'll notice that right up here it says webbanner.html. So that is my project file. But if I were to hold down command and hit the letter H to hide this program, and then I were to double click on my web banner folder, you can see all of the different files it has already created. Again, this includes the Edge Includes folder, which has both Edge and jQuery scripting. Then you also have three basic JavaScripts that relate to the Edge interface, the actions that we've created on the timeline, and the preload items that we also have inside of our project. Then you have the actual project file itself, which is a .an extension. And then you have the test HTML document. Next up we're going to do is we're going to import images inside of our project.